he did to you. It paid your price. It settled the question, your sins be as scarlet. They're as white as snow. Red like crimson. White like wool. Then you have no sin. You are perfectly sinless. No matter what you've done or what you do, you're still sinless. As long as you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, your sins are forgiven. And anything's forgiven is remitted and forgot about. Then what does it do? It gives you, after that condition, His Spirit to follow Him. And to do as He did for others who is following on. He was just one man, the perfect man. He gave his life and he made an example for you. Now what must we do? Now the first thing I want to say is Jesus never lived for himself. His life was spent for others. That's perfectly eternal life. When you say you go to church and you do good things, that's fine. But when you live your life to yourself, you have an eternal life. Eternal life is living for others. It proved it when it came in the Lamb of God. He lived and had eternal life because he did not live for himself. He lived for others. And you receive eternal life. By receiving that day and you don't live for yourself, the more you live for others. 